Hello students, um, today we are going to see the installation of Windows Server 2012. Uh, as you know that whenever you are studying for the exam 70410, the first unit or the first chapter what you actually have to study is the installation of Windows Server 2012. In installation of Windows Server 2012, the first thing which you have to do is you have to create a virtual machine. Uh, the second thing is you'll, you when you create a virtual machine, by default you have to create, uh, select a ISO image or a bootable disk from which you actually will install the operating system. So here we will use the ISO image which is already stored in the disk. So we will use the Windows Server 2012 R2 ISO image which is already available in our disk. So uh, when, when we talk about the installation of Windows Server 2012, so the first step what actually we will do is to create the virtual machine. So uh, first we will see how to create the virtual machine. So let's start uh, the create, creation of virtual machine. Click on the first option. Uh, you can open VMware workstation. This is the VMware workstation we have opened. In the VMware workstation window, uh, just click on the option that is create a new virtual machine. Now when you, once you click on this option, you will get two options which are available. One is typical, another is custom. Typical option normally we use when we know that or we, we know that this is a fixed type of operating system, either it is a Windows or something which is already there, and they have configured all the settings which are required or their recommended settings which are there, they are already stored into their database of VMware workstation. So you do not have to select anything, by default it will select the recommended size for RD, RAM, everything will be selected. But if you have some custom requirement that if you want to uh, add a multiple hard disk, you want to increase the size of the hard disk, then uh, you can go with the custom settings. So we will set, select typical, click on next, select the iOS image by using the browse button. So using the browse button, you can just go to that drive where the ISO image is stored select the ISO image, say open and then just click on next. Now it will ask you the virtual machine name. I will give the name as server1. So this is the name of my machine and you have to select the location where the virtual machine will be stored. The file of the virtual machine will get stored. So I am selecting the F drive and inside of the F drive I am selecting the folder which is new view. So I have selected that folder, I will click next. So continue. It is showing me the hard disk size, the recommended is 60 GB. If you want to increase the size of the hard disk, you can increase it. I will set it as 80 GB. Click on next. If you want to increase the RAM size or the number of processors which are there, now you can just click on customize hardware. First you can, if you want to increase the RAM, you can increase it to 4 GB. If you want to change the number of processors, you can change the number of processors also, which are to be used. And then just click on close. So your options are modified now. You can see the summary of your virtual machine. Just once it is done, just see the summary and click on finish if you are okay. Uh, now the installation process will start. So till now we are working on a virtual machine, but when you go for organization, the virtual machine part will not be there. The actual installation of Windows Server 2012 will start from this window where you have to boot it from a CD. You have to boot a machine from using a Windows Server 2012 CD. And first you have to go to the BIOS option, select the first bootable device as uh, the CD. And then you can start the installation. Now the first screen will come. It is the setup window screen which appears. This is the first window what we will get. It asks for the language to install the time and currency format which normally we use English US and the keyboard format also we use is the US format. Just click on next and then click on install now. So we are, we are starting now the installation process.
So now this is a really important screen where you can see the operating system you want to install. There are four options which are available. Server 2012 standard edition, but in server core installation type is server core installation. Second is Windows Server 2012 R2 standard edition, but in GUI mode. And data center edition again in core installation mode and GUI mode. So if you are comfortable with the command line interface and you want better performance of the server, then maximum times we go, go with this core installation. But uh, if you are not comfortable with the command line interface and you are not worried about the performance that is getting affected due to graphics, then yes, definitely you can go with the GUI mode. So I'm selecting the GUI mode. I will click on next. So I'm clicking on next. Now once you click on next, you will see uh, the Windows setup that is the license key, whatever we have to accept it. And then we have to click on next. Now there a window setup option appears where it is asking for the types of type of installation that you want. Now remember that this is a really important window which decides how you are actually going to proceed with the installation. Two types are there. One is upgradation of the Windows operating system. And the another option which is available is called as a fresh installation. So if there is an old operating system available on your server, like Windows Server 2008 or Windows 2008 R2, then we can upgrade that operating system to 2012 R2 or 2012. But if uh, the user says that I do not want anything from the previous disk or the previous server, no files, no settings and no applications are required, then you can go with the second option that is a fresh installation of Windows. But if they require all that back things which are there, then you can go with the upgradation option. But remember that when you are installing or you are upgrading any server operating system with Windows 2012 R2, it only is upgraded from Windows Server 2008 and the above versions, not below that. If it is 2003 server, you cannot upgrade it to 2012. Okay. So I will select the custom as our machine is a brand new machine. I will select the second option. Now it is asking me to select the hard disk where I want to install the windows. You can see a TGB hard disk unallocated space is there. So if you want to create a disk, I will create the drive of 60 GB. So 60,000 times saying. Okay. So now you can see one 60 GB drive is created of 58.33 GB. Still we have 21 GB left that we can create a drive now also using again that same option or later on also after installing the Windows server you can you can create that drives. So we will select the partition where we want to install the Windows. So we have selected that primary partition just now what we have created and then click on next. So now the installation process has been started. So remember the sequence always, whatever is given. It, it does the copying window. First process is to copying the Windows files. Second process is getting the files ready for installation. All the files that are required for the installation. The third thing is installing the features which are there. Next is installing the updates which are if some something is available. And then last, once everything is done, it will finish up with the installation process. So it will take some time. Uh, we will wait for that installation process to get completed. So let's wait for some time and then we will start with the installation process that next screen when it appears. Okay. So now you can see the machine is restarted and it is getting booted up. So what are the installation process was there that is completed and the device is getting ready now. So we can see now that it is showing device getting ready. So 89%, 100%. So it will take around maybe 10 to 15 minutes to around maybe 10 minutes depending on your configuration to get this screen. So once all that files, everything is installed, the next step what you will get the screen which is there. So it will again take some time. It will reboot also in between. 
so once it is rebooted we will have the uh, administrator password screen where you have to set the administrator password so it is now rebooted and uh, now we will get the final screen or the final setting which has to be done in the installation process that is the uh, configuration of the administrator password now remember that uh, the administrator password what we are entering this password is for the administrator account which is by default created whenever you are installing any windows operating system so whenever a windows operating system is installed by default the administrator account is created and it will ask for the password for that user account and remember that for a server operating system always the password that you are entering that password should be always a complex password complex means the password which you are assigning should be combination of alphabets numbers and symbols so remember that as server is a you can say important system and uh, which is you can say it should be more secure so that's why these policies they are applied that always the password should be a so you can say complex password now that screen you can see in front of you so we will assign the password now i will give the password to this machine abhijit and the red 123 you can see uh, the password which is assigned over there and we have to confirm it also so maybe i have to type some more letters so once it is done type the password it is now finalizing your setting and the next screen which will come is called as a login screen so in windows server operating system whenever you get a login screen to login you have to first press control alter and delete button and once you press control alter and delete then you will get a login screen where you have to select the user account using with using which you have to login into the system and it will ask for the password which you have to assign so now you can see the login screen which are which we are getting press control alter delete give the password administrator password just now what you have entered and press enter so now we are logging into the system a newly installed windows server operating system machine uh, and we have created a user account with a password so by default that user is created and you will get a desktop now so once the operating system you log in into this operating system by default a window will open inside a windows server 2012 that window is nothing but it is called as a server manager window this server manager window which is open by default every time you log in into the system is a window from where it is a centralized point from where all the settings of the servers can be done so everything what we will look further into the next lab that is regarding post installation configuration all these things and the installation of different roles which are there so different practicals what we are going to see all these practicals will be related to this window itself so now we can see the desktop also you can see we have got the desktop you can see here on the screen so desktop is there and now you can see by default the window is opening for the server manager so this is something which is used for managing the server and the services which are given by the server so this is the installation of windows server 2012 we have successfully installed windows server 2012 all the information of this server can be seen from the option of local server so if you go to the local server option you can see all the options that are available over there so if you go to the local server option now you can see the computer name which is there work group the remote management option remote desktop option nic teaming operating system name you can see microsoft windows server 2012 r2 standard evaluation option it is showing the processor it will show you the processor installed ram then the total disk space which is available all all this information is displayed on a single screen and that's why server manager is really important 
you can see a window from where actually everything can be done by administrator so uh, thank you students this was the first lab in 70410 or server operating system 1 which is installation of the windows server 2012 r2 thanks a lot we will see you in the next video so best of luck for your installation